everybody today I've decided to do a purple Christmas look because purple is my favorite color and um, I got a purple lipstick in the makeup revolution goodie bag that I got with my haul from Superdrug. I'll link that below and um, I also got the pretty rare palette which has got some really nice purple so I thought it'd be cool to do something a bit different a bit more of a cool toned look uh, maybe with a bit of glitter or something so yeah i'm just gonna get stuck straight in i've already done my base i've been trying out um i did like a full face of cream products not for a video yet but i was like testing out to see how it turned out so yeah i might do that as a video because actually turned out really nice i don't think i've blended my contour very well there but it has looked it has looked nice it has turned out nice anyway it's, there's me going on about i'm gonna get stuck in of course i won't you know me better than that <laughs> um right i'm just gonna take my hang on what's it called I called it something else the other day base shadow brush i like this for the crease because i've got hooded eyes and the crease brush is too fluffy and yeah if you can hear anything in the background it's my dryer it wasn't supposed to be on but everything's behind today it's just one of those days um so this is the pretty rare palette from revolution i thought this would be a cool idea because if you got this in your when you did your little shop over black friday or anything or recently from super drug buying Re Re revolution revolution products so a cool look to go with it this was an online exclusive um so anyway i'm gonna take the shade unusual and I'm going to put that all in my crease with no mirror, apparently. This is less fluffy than the... I really like this shade at the moment, Unique. It's like my go-to festive shade. Um, It's going to be in my video tomorrow. Uh, no, it's tomorrow for me, but for you it'll be whenever it goes up. <laughs> Blend that out. I found with this palette a most revolution eyeshadows to like stamp it on in the crease and then you can blend it out once you've built it up a little bit if you go straight to blending you don't get as much pigment not in all the shadows but in a lot of the revolution palettes that's the best way i found to to use them obviously i could use my blood sugar um jeffree star palette because that's got some beautiful purples in it but I just thought it'd be nice to use something that you might have this time of year. Not that you definitely want to do this look. <laughs> it's actually more sort of grey. It's not as, um, what's the word? Purple as I thought, but we can build that up anyway. This is all because of that lipstick I got really. Because I love purple, but I don't do a lot of purple makeup actually have to do more in the new year oh that reminds me i just want to say hello to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing and people who have left comments if i haven't replied yet i will it's just been hectic with it being christmas and everything i think i've replied to everybody but if i've missed anyone i'm sorry and i'm really happy that you've joined joined the little family and I have to come up with a name for you if anyone's got any suggestions for names for our little our little group of 62 so far and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and I hope you enjoy the other videos then I'm just gonna take I think it's called select yeah i'm gonna take select which is this deeper purple and deepen that up i'm not really sure where i'm going with this eye look yet so that's always dangerous i just go in out a corner so it looks pink on camera oh that light's gone off again <laughs> it's one of those days it looks pink on camera but it is purple I might switch to a different brush in a minute while i decide what I'm actually doing. I like this purple though. This is like a really plummy, plummy purple. Probably should have blended as I go. I'm just going to take my fluffy blending brush I always use. Buff over the edges. I might go in with this purple all the way, I think, because it's more purple. That's kind of what I wanted to do. It being a purple look and all. Must stop mumbling. <laughs> that does look nice. Oh, buffed out. 
Right, I'm going to run a bit of that purple in the crease as well. Just a bit, just to make it all purple. Oh, got some fallout. Trusty fan brush. I haven't done highlight yet. Because I've got a purpley highlight I'm going to use. Yeah, that's the brush I was using. At least I'm getting the angle better. I am remembering. It looks really pink on camera, but honestly, it is purple. And it is a bit of a mess, but I'm going to blend that all. Blend that all out. I'm sort of stamping this on the lid and like the crease slightly lower than the first colour I did. Unusual. The colour, not my technique, <laughs> hopefully. Really hate when on camera it looks patchy, but in my mirror it doesn't. Right, I'm just taking a bit of unusual on the fluffy brush and buffing that right over the edge. Trying to soften it up. As I say in like every makeup video, it's not a tutorial. I'm just playing with makeup, having fun. Right, I'm gonna put a bit in my inner corner because I'm gonna brighten that anyway. I think it needs it. Yeah, I like that. It looks really patchy, but in my mirror it doesn't. I mean, admittedly, the light's rubbish. It could be patchy, I suppose. I'm just going to keep blending with the unusual colour. It <laughs> sounds so weird. Right, I'm going to deepen up the outer corner again. Oh, light's back on. Good timing. Just roll with it here. There we go like that soften that slightly Ooh. now i've got to remember what i did right purple in the crease the select color stamp run that through my crease i look about right Obviously more blending is needed. <laughs> That's it, done now. Right, I'm gonna blend. Buff, whatever you wanna call it. Take slightly more of that. I think I'm a bit a bit darker this side. I feel like I've got more in my inner corner this side, so I'll go. Maybe we're going for a bit of a halo eye or whatever it's called. There, I do like that. Right, now we're going to blend again. I'm sort of blending up, up and out because I want that purpley, purpley colour. I really want it soft and then I'm going to take unusual again do exactly what I did before that's my dryer right is that the same both sides I feel like this side's not as blended for some reason there we go it's like a really yeah I sort of like really blended and smoky soft right now i'm going to do underneath quickly i'm going to use this underneath because i want it like quite smoky oh i need to do a bit of black a bit of black eyeliner the light's really weird in here today it's got a really weird yellowy color and my christmas jumper's trying to strangle me and poke yourself in the eye <laughs> it's all happening today I link everything in the description blo blocks, box below. Yeah, this is just the L'Oreal, whatever it's called, super liner that I always use. And you could do like a lighter one, I just like dark obviously, the, the inner goth.
I don't use eyeliner. I've said I say this in most of my videos, but I feel like because I keep getting new subscribers, I've got to explain. So I'm just smoking out there. I'm gonna go back on top because it looks messy, but I just add the bit of the eyeliner and blend it in, like smoke it in a little bit. I'm going to take a bit of select on this little brush. Just bend, bend that in, blend that into the outer corner. Right, run that along a bit first. Just give it that purpley tune. It's a nice colour and it takes building up but it's a nice colour. Really plummy, plummy purple. There, I like that. Then I'm just going to take the big fluffier brush that I've used. Tap on a bit of that unusual and go just underneath and really smoke it out. I'm going to go like up here as so I to make it like a really big dramatic. Wasn't what I was going to do but I, I like it. And obviously you can skip this stage you have to go quite so smoky with it it's just a look i really like at the moment phase that's going on about all uh, 18 odd years so <laughs> not 18 or is it no i don't know oh i really like that Ooh like really vampy i like <laughs> oh yeah like i say you don't have to go quite so smoky like that but it's just like something i really like at the moment. i'm just gonna go over the purple underneath again because we've smoked it out so much i've uh, blended it away a touch more of that purpley look Ooh, like <laughs> as if I couldn't say that more I do feel like I need more bronzer on now though because I'm looking even more pale than I usually do because I'm not wearing my usual bronze so I might do that in a second what we're on for time oh not bad today right now I'm gonna put on I've got oh I was gonna stamp some of that first um I've got a darker purple shimmer and a bright one I'm gonna put this one on the outer corner just like over the top of what I've already done not right out but like there basically gonna stamp some of that on i don't know how well it'll work without my finger but i don't want loads of that one anyway bit of fallout with me fan brush okay. and then a bit of that on the other side as well just literally in the same place just to give it a bit of sparkle again don't have to do that we could just leave it how I had it. Oh, I've missed a bit of. Hang on, deepen that up a bit. I don't think I went quite as far with this eye. I'm not quite even. I'm putting shimmer over the top anyway, so it should be fine. I'm just gonna blend that a little. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go. I look blurry. Nah. <laughs> don't know what's happening with my camera today then i'm going to go into individuality the bright sparkly purple on my finger hopefully this all works not actually as sparkly as i i thought that's fine but it's still a nice color though got more of a pink reflex to it and i'm also going to put a bit of highlighter over this so i really like that it's really deep Pinky purple. Ooh, that's finished it off really nice. Right, it's almost got a brown. I blended out. It's got like a brown tone to it. Anyway, 
that's that palette. Then we're going to take Soph X Revolution Highlighter Palette. And I've got, there's a purple in there. I just need a clean little brush. Maybe not that little, but that'll do for now. And I'm going to take the purpley, oh my goodness, a bit of fallout. A bit of fluff on that. In my inner corner and it's slightly... I've been doing that recently. I'll just go like down there a little bit. And it makes my eyes look really wide. I'm going to blend this out again in a sec because it is really bright. Which is good. But it's like a bit too bright for this look almost. So I'm going to take my buffing brush. Literally just tap over. Just to calm that down a little bit. There we go. I like that. I'm going to put a bit of my brow bone, quite a lot of my brow bone apparently, a bit there, put the other side, and I've got, I've got fluff on my face now as so well, I don't know what's going on with this brush, what, <laughs> it's gone a bit, I don't know if I've got highlight this side. There we go. That's better. Right. With this brush, I'm going to put a little bit down my nose. Like a little pointy nose. A bit above my lip before I do my lipstick. And then I'm going to take my fluffy highlighting brush. Just fluff over everything. I don't know what's happened there. Into the purpley highlight again. Quite a bit of fallout. I haven't used this one yet. I really like the tones. Oh no, it is more blinding than I thought. I was about to say they're not as blinding as I was expecting. These highlights. And I was expecting more lighter colours. Because so it's quite light. But only the lightest one and this one's like light enough for me. But I'm so hopeless trying to do highlighter in this house. I can't see. Right, anyway, there's some highlighter. Purpley highlighter to go with the purpley. I like matching the cut tone of the highlighter to the eyeshadow and the lipstick. It's just what I've started doing. Oh, I was going to bronze up a bit more, but now I've put highlighter. Well, I won't worry about that. I look pale. I am pale, so it's not much of a, a stretch. Now, I don't have... Oh, no, hang on, shut up. Um, I thought it'd be nice to use the Revolution mascara as well, so I'm just going to curl my... Everyone knows I'm a die-hard L'Oreal Lash Paradise lover. But I thought just as it's uh, Revolution eyeshadow and highlighter and brow and face products. I'll link that all below because I def did it off camera. I've just realised pretty much everything's Revolution. So yeah, it makes sense to use the mascara. I don't think I'll do that down my nose again. It's a bit tinny. <laughs> right. Are they curled enough? I reckon so. Does anyone else have eyelashes that if you don't curl them, they just point straight out? Because mine are quite naturally long, but you can't tell that because they just stick out. And they're really fine as well. Uh, not fine, fair. I do like this mascara. I just prefer my Lash Paradise to any other mascara I've ever tried, so why i don't use any other mascaras very often blinked again got super sensitive eyes putting on mascara is like a game of potluck most weeks oh, that bit of my eye drives me mad I like the brush on this. It is similar to L'Oreal actually. It's really the boring bit for you, isn't it? <laughs> 
Don't worry. Next year, 2019 is a year of editing, I've decided. I'm going to learn editing if it kills me. What's going on with my eye? I feel like I need about 100 coats of this stuff. Why didn't I just use my L'Oreal? It is nice. It's just no L'Oreal, is it? Right, anyway. Mascara's done. We're only on 20 minutes. That's good for me. That's good. Now, I have got the Atomic... What's it called? Hang on. Atomic Shade Make It Right lipstick for Make Revolution, obviously. And it's like a really bright purple. I haven't got a purple lip liner or eye pencil that I can use. So I'm going to use this Carl Lagerford pinky one because it should blend in with the purple. And it's nice and creamy. Oh, for those of you who don't know, I go over my lips because I get like redness around the outside. So when I put lipstick on, I've got like a ring of red otherwise. So I go like right over the foundation. And I did do lip scrub, but that apparently hasn't worked very well today. <laughs> well, I guess pretty well for the lip colour. I'm not saying you'd want to wear this for Christmas. It is a nice colour though. I just really wanted to try it because it's like, it's purple and purple is a festive colour. And you could always tone it down or go with a nude lip with this. It'd look nice or brown, deep brown lip would look nice. Uh, as I suspected, suspected, this is quite patchy. It's really hard to do a purple lipstick without it being patchy. And a purple eyeshadow, kind of that. I mean, it's not bad. It is a bit patchy here, though. I don't know if I'd use it like regularly, and it's a little bit brighter than my eyes. Because in my mirror, my eyes look more purple, but on there, of course, they've picked up more pink. So, I'm just going to take a tissue. This is what I do if a lipstick's not quite what I wanted. I see that's toned it down a bit already. And then I'm going to put on a bit of this lip. Plumping. This is uh, Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream in like a brownie colour. Just literally going to take a little bit of that and just pat that over the top. I completely missed my lip apparently. Just to tone down that like purple. <laughs> Even though that's what I wanted. I see it looks better already yeah I really like that and it's a bit different as well because everyone's doing like reds and um copper because I've done that as well I've done like a ready a ready sort of look I've done a copper sort of look I've done the blue and copper um I just wanted to do something a bit different show you how you can use the colors in here and that the colors are really pigmented as well they're super pigmented for a drugstore eyeshadow um yeah so that's why I wanted to do that and now I'm going to take this lip off, put a nude lip on and film a couple more videos. I hope you enjoyed this video, me just playing with some makeup and chatting. And um, 
I would like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and you want to see more I do this kind of video playing with makeup testing makeup full faces of like different brands uh, haul videos glossy box unboxing festive stuff seasonal stuff so yeah I hope you'll join me in the next video bye